Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a white striped spiral. Decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then spiral it up. Once you have it spiraled up the way you like it, it's time to secure it. I like to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string, it's just a matter of preference. And for this one I'm using my second favorite rubber bands, they're a little bit smaller than my favorite rubber bands. And I also got them off of Amazon, and I do have a link for them down below in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie dye, so I recommend that you check that out. You know, if you're going to go shopping, it's an easy tool to help you find what you need. As you're working on securing it, tuck in all those loose tails and if you need to add rubber bands in random places, that's fine. Now using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. So you saw me just flip it over and I'm drawing on the flat side. The only reason why I do that is just because it's easier to mark on it. When adding your dye for this project, you want to saturate down about halfway through the pleats. You don't want to oversaturate. So this is going to be creating white stripes. So we're going to leave the back of the shirt white. Instead of adding black dye, when you see me make my black back spirals, we're just not going to do anything and we're going to leave the t-shirt plain and white. I have a little confession to make. This dye that I'm using could easily be two, three months old. Um, I was organizing my dye when I couldn't really do much and I came across all these pretty purples and I thought, oh, I don't wanna pour them down the drain. So I'll grab one of my George shirts and see what happens. And you can see how um, like glumpy and gooey and it's crystallized in the bottle and you know, using old dye is fine, but you're going to get more of a pastel and you're going to see at the end, but I quite like these colors better as pastels. Hmm, interesting, huh? I checked the back and it's looking good. There's not a lot of dye coming through, so you can stop right there. But you know me, I like to oversaturate, so I'm just going to hit it with a second layer of dye. When I was looking at the top of the shirt, it had that sort of white fuzzy look, and that means that the dye is reacting with the fibers in the cotton. So I just wanted to give it a little more dye since the dye is old, just to give it a fighting chance for some vibrancy. And you can really tell in the hydrangea that it's old because it's crystallized in the bottle and it's having a hard time coming out of the tip. So, you know, I don't recommend using old dye, but you certainly can. 
So now you want to batch your shirt. You can do it the good old-fashioned way, 24 to 48 hours, but for this one I'm using the microwave method. So I'm going to microwave it for three minutes and then I'm going to let it cool for 15 minutes to 60 minutes. This shirt ended up batching for about three hours because I was busy making other shirts. And that's fine. Um, the longer it batches, you know, the better it's going to be. So it's just, you know, it's a matter of preference. But it's nice and cool now. So you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric. And that's going to help you avoid dieback. So you're rinsing away all that soda ash. And then you want to gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Kirillon, which is formerly known as Synthropol. And I get that from Dharma Trading Company and I have a link down below to help you find it. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I also get that from Dharma and there's a link for it down below. And then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our white striped spiral after it's been washed and dried and I think it's beautiful. I'm really enjoying these colors as pastels. And the white stripes just add a little bit of contrast and it's bright and it's airy and cheerful. I'm really digging the periwinkle. When you mix periwinkle full strength and it's brand new and fresh, my color is a lot more blue, like a very dark blue. And I like this light, subtle color, and it's throwing off just a little bit of gray. Overall, I'm very pleased with this shirt. I would definitely make this again. You know, like I said, you can use old dye. I don't necessarily recommend it, but it's better than just pouring it down the drain, so give it a try. So what do you think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up and then click the bell and set it to all that way you get notified of future uploads and remember have fun tie-dyeing